frustration. That is how it feels to look for a job. And I'm not even talking during recession times. You're doing everything by the book, but you're hearing nothing. Nada. Zilch. Oh my gosh. I know this because I've been there. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five top tips with you to help you accelerate your job search for 2021 and beyond. So you have the career and life you want and deserve. Coming right up. Hey Supercharger, welcome. My name is Sonal Behel, former HR director and career strategist with 18 years of international corporate experience. In this channel, I share practical tips to help you get that edge so you have that dream job, that promotion you've been dreaming of, and lead a richer, happier, and more purposeful life. If this is what you're after, we need to hang out. Hit that subscribe button, it's asking you, it's got your name on it, and hit the bell so you don't miss when I post another video. Now let's dive in. My first tip is related to driving a car. Yes, so there is an expression, when you don't know where you're going, any way will get you there. So you need to have clarity whether you, are, you know, you're driving your career, <laughs> I just thought of that, or you're in the passenger seat. If you're in the passenger seat, decisions are made for you, things happen to you, and you've got to, you know, go with the flow. But when you're in the driver's seat, you need to be crystal clear. And I'm guessing if you're watching this channel and this video, you want to be in the driver's seat, right? So that means, what kind of job do you want? What kind of career? It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. How do you want to feel? What kind of hours do you want to work? What kind of a role makes you like tingle with joy? Where do you want to live? How do you want to feel? Did I already say that? That is so important. Write that stuff down. You know what they say about your thoughts becoming your reality? <laughs> yeah, it works. So have that clarity because otherwise you're going to come across as this person. Yeah, I can do anything. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do marketing also. I'll do finance. Or don't. Don't. You're going to come across as someone who's lost and confused. And you know what happens to people who are lost and confused? Yeah, the GPS doesn't help them. <laughs> they continue to stay lost. You don't want to be that person. So be crystal clear on what you want. I think people who take the pause, reflect on themselves, reflect on what they want to do and work on quality applications and take that time. I, I think they get hired faster. They, yes. they end up probably staying at the job that they get hired at longer. They end up having a much more enjoyable life, I think. The second thing is when you have a good idea of the companies you want to work in, it's a small world because of the internet. See who are the people you know who work in these companies. There will be some in your warm network, you know, people you know on a regular basis. There are people in your cold network. Now, there is these studies that have come out in the 70s and 80s that the cold network is actually more beneficial for you because um, you're not hanging out with them on a consistent basis. So you get new ideas, fresh perspectives that you don't normally get with your warm network. For example, your parents or your friends, they want to protect you, they want to keep you safe. And if it looks like you're going to get into a spot that's a little bit uncomfortable, they don't want that for you necessarily because they don't want to see you hurt. So I think there's a place for everything. The cold network is people you haven't been in contact with, but it's a good idea to start, start today. And your warm network also has its benefit because, you know, when things are not going well, it's the warm network that you can count on. And plus, they feel the pain of job search as much as you do. Well, they should feel it as much as you do if they are close to you. So leverage both and see in your target list of companies who you know and reach out to them. What's the worst that will happen? They won't get back to you. doesn't matter. Follow up, follow up, follow up. And if they still don't, leave it. <laughs> but till then, take advantage of people. Thanks to LinkedIn, thanks to social media, WhatsApp. They are a few taps of your finger away. The third thing is actually a myth that I want to uncover. There are a lot of coaches out there that say, do not apply online. It's a waste of time. I actually could not disagree more. 
I have applied to positions in the past at very senior roles and I've got interviews and so have my clients. And it's not that we are unusually more intelligent than others. It's a question of being very intelligent and targeted in your applications rather than say, oh, I applied to 100 uh, opportunities this week. Nobody got back to me. Yeah, that probably means 100. Oh, it, there's a good chance you were like, spray and pray kind of thing going on. That's not what you want to do. Focus on four, five and go deep. Don't go only broad, go deep and see who you know. And the second thing I want to say is with apply intelligently, uh, part B is babysit that application. That makes a big difference. So, you know, you know somebody who works in that company or a recruiter, even if you don't know them, a little note on the side, whether it's on LinkedIn or email saying, hey, I applied to this position. I'm actually really, really excited about it and I cannot wait to hear more. And I'm available right here for any opportunities for interviews and, and things like that. I'm, I'm extremely keen. There's nothing wrong with doing that. You're not harassing anyone, you're not spamming anyone, but you've got to, I call this babysitting your application to ensure that it doesn't get lost in that black hole, which is applicant tracking systems, etc. You know, you don't know if you're going to hear back from short. These recruiters are completely overworked um, and underappreciated. So this is one way to ensure that you stand out. I do want to let you know that I made a video on how to get a job fast from my own personal experience during a very expensive and difficult MBA program and how I managed to find five job offers uh, just before graduation. So definitely watch that because that has some precise tips as well for you. The fourth tip will appear to be common sense. And I can tell you there is nothing more far from the truth. When it comes to reaching out to people, it feels odd because you have not done it. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. As the Chinese wise expression goes, right? Now the same goes for you. Stay in touch. Stay in touch with people that you would like to know. Don't just reach out when you need something, right? Now imagine how you feel when someone reaches out and they only reach out when they want something. It's like ulterior motives and people feel used. It's not a nice feeling. So for example, you know, um, New Year, Christmas, Diwali, um, you know, Easter, birthday, if you know all of these things, hey, have you had a nice summer two to three times a year? I've had guests on my podcast who did this very strategically. And I think those are very useful podcast episodes for you to listen to. And oh boy, the strategy paid off. Granted, it paid off in the long term, but looking at it um, like a marathon definitely helps you. And in the short term, it helps you if you do it on a regular basis. The fifth tip is related to being a magnet. Now, a magnet has certain properties, right? Chemical properties and certain things are attracted to the magnet. So you want to make sure you have those properties. What does that mean? A LinkedIn profile, which is complete, five-star rating, and you are attracting people towards you, right? So that's really important. A great picture, a banner, a headline, an about section, featured section, testimonials, all of that is complete. I can't stress this enough because most people treat LinkedIn like this. Pff. I will argue that LinkedIn is as important as your resume. And I will even say in some cases more important. Social recruiting, social selling, all of this is real. So if you're not up to date yet, get with the program. <laughs> and the other thing I want to say is you want to start engaging with the right set of people. So if you see a post and you're like, oh, this is so interesting. Don't just put a thumbs up or a lazy like. Don't do that. Put in a comment that's intelligent, that makes the other person think, because then they'll be like, oh, who is this Sonal Behel? I'm going to say, ah, okay, interesting. You want them to come to you. Yes, you're going to be applying to positions. Yes, you're going to be looking and seeing your target list of companies. At the same time, you want there to be an inbound as well as an outbound strategy. Now over to you. What are your favorite tips to land the right opportunities in your lap? Please share them in the comments and I'd love to know. Now to take a more in-depth look, I highly recommend that you check out this playlist, which has accelerated job search tips in one place. I'm sure they're gonna help you. Do sign up to get emails from me where I share the best career tips only on email. And finally, you see that little circle with my face on it, that means you need to subscribe to this channel. So till next time, keep dreaming, keep achieving, keep supercharging. You got this.